Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an animated icon. Um, as you can see my icon here, it has sparkles which fade in and out, kind of like blinking, but really slow, you know, kind of cute. I've seen these a lot and I know a lot of people want to learn how to make these, so I decided to make a video tutorial to kind of lessen the confusion that falls with this type of animation. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start. The first thing you want to do is open a new image, 100 by 100, which is a standard icon size. Anything bigger or smaller is not really an icon, um, but of course, you can make them as big or as small as you like. I, I did a raster background and transparent layer. Okay, the next thing you want to do is just pick a color, any color you want. I'm going to be using pink and just flood fill your canvas. Next, you want to choose a brush, which I'm going to be using some random viney type brushes. Let's see what I have. Some butterflies. No. You want to just pick whatever brush you like. Let's just pick this one and apply it to your icon. Okay. Let's just leave it. I'll just do it this way. Okay. Once you have your brush on your icon, you want to go ahead and duplicate it twice so that you have three layers. Once you have your three layers, you want to go ahead and use a sparkle brush, which you can find by going to deviantart.com or you can just Google um, PSP brushes and stuff like that, or sparkle brushes, and just any sparkle brush. Then you want to click on the first layer, and with your sparkle brush, which I'm going to be using white, you can do any color you want, just place sparkles wherever you want. So once you place your brush um, on the first layer, anywhere you want, you want to go ahead and click on your second layer and place the brush on a different area. So as you can see, I placed mine on the top right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my top layer click on my, sec um, my second layer and place my brush let's do over here the top left corner okay then I'm gonna go ahead and hide that layer and click on my third layer and place my brush I say right there in the center maybe add a little sparkle there okay so once you have your sparkles on every layer you course want to go ahead and add some text or maybe a picture or something I'm gonna go ahead and just write my name Oops. make sure you bring your your text layer all the way to the top. Put my name down here. Okay, you want to go ahead and decorate your text however you want. I'm going to be doing an inner Bethel like always. This is like my favorite um, thing to do to text. And if you don't know how to inner bevel, you should go check out my tutorial on that okay and I did a drop shadow okay so now that I like the way that my text came out and we have our three background layers what you want to do is hide all the animation layers and then unhide the first one so it should look something like this you should have the text layer the first background layer with the sparkles and then the other two are going to be hidden so you want to co uh, right click copy merged open up animation shop and you want to paste as new animation 
then you want to hide the first um, animation layer unhide the second one copy merged right click and paste after current frame so you should have two frames then you want to hide that layer and unhide the last layer and copy merged right click and paste after current frame so once you have your three frames you want to go ahead click on the first frame right click and copy then click on the last frame right click and paste after current frame so you should have four frames the first three which are the first three animation layers that we made in in PSP and then your fourth layer should be the first layer repeated again okay so now we're gonna add the effect so click on the first layer go to effects insert image transition and select fade and I'm gonna leave mine with the standard settings you can play around with it make it go faster and so that I'm doing 1.9 seconds and 8 frames per second and click OK then you want to count back from the last frame you want to count back three layers from the last layer there's one two three on the third layer you want to go ahead go back to effects insert image transition and do the same thing okay then you want to count back two layers so there's one two and go ahead and add the image transition again now the last layer we do not animate it you don't put the image transition if you do which I'm going to show you an example it's just going to fade to nothing so it's not going to look really cool alright so once you have that done you should have let's see I have 48 frames which is a lot a lot a lot a lot no 49 I have 49 frames well, whatever the case is that's about how many frames you have depending on the settings you use you may have more or less and there you go you have your animated icon with the little sparkles isn't that cool all right so if you have any questions feel free to ask me i am more than happy to help and um get to animating